Oh, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back guys to talk about a new collection. It is from Elf Cosmeticals. You guys already probably know by the title below. It is the Cookies and Cream Collection. Y'all, I cannot believe Elf came out with one of my favorite ice cream flavors as a collection, but they did. So before we jump all the way into these guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly doing things. And as well, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly doing things. And also guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. And as well, don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So guys, let's jump right on into this collection because I can't wait. All right, y'all. So starting off, of course, we're going to talk about the packaging, break down this whole collection, of course. I did see on Trend Mood, they were talking about coming out with a collection. They said, you know, they put a little question mark, had us guessing on Instagram. And I said, uh oh, and then Trend Mood showed up a uh, cookies and cream. And I said, what? I was shocked gooped and excited and hungry at the same time. But I did grab from the collection, they have a milkshake overnight mask. And then I grabbed the Cookies and Dreams palette, so cute. And then I did grab their Cookie Crumble Lip Exfoliator. And then I grabbed all three of their glosses. These are just the Cookies and Dreams lip glosses. I got about six things from the collection. I know they came out with like eye pencils and all that, but I kept it to lippies, eyes, and a little bit of skincare in there and some lip care. These did, I believe the palette did retail y'all for nine bucks. I did grab this one in Walmart. I was in there randomly guys and I seen the whole collection there and I was like, oh, let me get the palette while I'm at it. Cause I was like, I just want the lippies and skincare. But then I see the palette and said, I gotta give it a try. I got to. So this was $9 for sure. I can put all the links for the lippy products all below and the overnight mask, the milkshake one. So with the milkshake overnight mask, it does say on the back, it's time to chill and indulge in a refreshing and nourishing treat, whipped, creamy, and calorie free. <laughs> The cookies and cream scented mask has jojoba mix in that melt away, leaving your skin feeling soft and smooth. You're supposed to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse off, of course. I didn't know when I first bought this, cause I, did, again, y'all, I'm bad about reading all the stuff on Elf's website. I just like, give it to me, it's a cute idea, give it to me now. I did not know these were cookies and cream scented and that makes it 10,000 times better. It is a blue squeezy bottle with cookies and dreams and then milkshake overnight mask right here in the front. It does have a blue little squeeze tube and of course, squeezy squeezy. And oh yeah, it does smell like it. It's a white creamy little lotion look to it. And then it has some brown to black looking little specks and crumples in it. So it looks like straight up cookies and cream. Next is the Cookies and Dream eyeshadow palette. So the packaging is a light blue color matching the whole theme, of course. And then the side of the palette, they don't give us a mirror nothing like that, but they do give us eight shades. Four mattes, four shimmers. Very nice. So this palette is very, very simple. Nothing too rah-rah. We know Elf, their packaging and their palettes a lot of times when they're smaller, they're just simple. Have the color coordinated and that's about it. Next, it is the Cookies and Dream Cookie Crumble Lip Exfoliator. This is really, really cute. I love the name. I didn't know. I thought it was just a lip exfoliator, a lip scrub, but it's a Cookie Crumble. Got a whole name. Very, very cute. Baby blue packaging once again. You take off the top and then when you squeeze up, all the lippy scrub, the cookie crumble, it literally looks just like that face mask. It literally has a cream to clear solid look to it. And then it has these little brown to black little crumbles mixed in with it. It's very, very cute. And of course, yes, this one kind of smells a little bit like cookies and cream too. Alrighty, last but not least guys is of course the lip glosses. Now I thought these were plumping, but I guess I was wrong. They are not plumping. So this is called Brain Freeze, which is really cute. This one isn't, of course, the toppers are the light blue color again, but instead literally looks like the iciest, bluest, watered down blue. I love the shade because it really does look like freeze, like a freezy kind of drink. It's really nice. This one looks like the face mask and of course the lip scrub. It is a white, very white, creamy base with little brown and black specks in it. It looks literally like cookies and cream. Very cute. So we have Cookie Dream. This one is a dark it looks like pretty much like a straight up black and maybe a dark brownish with blue sparkles in it very very interesting y'all that is all the packaging for this collection and i did use every single thing on my face guys so if you want to check out how it went and how i got this look and you guys already know just stay tuned
right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I actually, uh, it was interesting. It was kicking my butt a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you. So let's jump actually back into this palette. The mattes on the top perform beautifully. This white one and the brown one is very, very pigmented. If you guys seen, I did put the white one in the tear duct over that shimmer color and it just pow pow, it just really accentuated. That white color is very, very pretty. The darker brown one is at the bottom to create my wing aligner at the bottom, like a lower wing line, very cute. That one really popped out, wasn't surprised by that. And then the Shimmer Pier, I actually never even got to use her. She's a very, very, it looks like a very, ooh, she's very shimmery. It's like a champagne-y shimmer. Maybe I'll use that tear duct another day. But that's a pretty smooth, it felt really nice and smooth on the finger. And then this darker blue one is crazy. Look at that, it's just crazy electric. I have at the bottom of my waterline. I love that shade. It performed so beautifully. One swipe, you're good to go. It made me want to keep building up, build up on your eye. I was just like, ooh, 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 it's so, so pretty. So I love that color. This one is a very soft, soft, soft blue, purple. It's kind of like that ultraviolet color. It's like an ultraviolet vibe. It's very, very pretty, but it's very light. I think with that white one on top of it is, ooh, when you mix the white one with that ultraviolet one, is amazing. This blue, I had high hopes for her. She looks like she's so pigmented, but she washes out. See, she washes out. You have to build it up a lot, guys, and that's something I was like, I did not care for. I want that blue to really be stark like that white color, but it really, it wasn't. It was just okay. But that wasn't the worst one. The worst one to me was this one. This one I did shade it over my lid to just give that negative spacious fade out. I just want that blue to be on top of my eye today. This was okay, but it kind of runs the taupe belly for me. You guys know how I feel about taupe, I hate taupe. But it just literally it washed away as well. Now, if you do need a color just to dust over your eye to create a negative space or anything like that, it is a good color for that. But overall, I don't really use that too much for my eye look, so it just kind of fell flat for me. I was like, eh. And then this darker, it's like a deep, deep black blue. This one is very pigment as well. Boom, one swipe to go. This one, I was surprised by it, just like the brown one. I knew it performed well. Those deeper colors that are more sheen to matte usually pop, 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 and you don't have to swap too much. I really wanted the mattes that were just one solid color mattes. I only wanted those to really pop and show. That blue is what I really wanted to show, but that other blue is the one that popped out. But of course, shimmer or sheen is gonna pop out a little more when it's nice and smooth. But I just felt like the brown one was the only one, and the white one. The white and the brown was the only matte one that really popped. So this palette was just okay, guys. I wish it was a little bit, I don't know. I wish they had a spotted eyeshadow that was that white with black in it. That would have been good or a brown, you know? It does match the theme, of course, but it was just okay. It was just Bro. cute. The lip scrub is fantastic. I like the chunky little black pieces in there. Don't fully know what those are, but it's the cookie crumble of it all. I feel like this did break up a lot of dead skin that was on my lip, especially my bottom lip. I've been swatching a lot of lippings lately, and this one did break up because it had like a little red color there, and I think, yeah, it pretty much got rid of it now. This is a really nice scrub. I've had their scrubs in the past, like when they first came out with it, and those scrubs were very like, very, really, yeah, very, very generic. This one has a little more oils and I feel like they put a little bit more work into this one. Simple, but still effective. Brain freeze. This one is fantastic. Any girls that love that clear lip gloss or you like a little bit of a cooler clear lip gloss. It's just that juicy lip look. This is the one for you. I love this one. I like that it is blue. It li I like that it has kind of a cool tone blue to it, even on the lip. It doesn't show it really on my lip, but it does show a nice clear juicy look and I'm like, obsessed with that now. I, I think I am getting a clear gloss now since that last next video. I think I'm getting into it. But these all smell like cookies and cream, y'all, like crazy. So if you're like, I don't want scent, it did smell like that, yes, definitely. And it's fantastical, I love it. So this one is a really good one for the clear gloss girls. So the milky white creamy one with the black specks. This one I have on in the center of my lip. Now, this can really look like milk on your lips. Now, a lot of girls that like the, I don't know if I can say milky look, I don't know. If they like that really, really soft, light, nude, kind of has that milky look to it, some people into it, you would like this. Especially, I know some girls, they like to wear that darker liner, put this in the middle, adds a little fade to it. It's cute. If you like that kind of vibe, you'll like this one. I like the effect that they have little 
little brown and black little specks in there and then it's milky. It legitly looks like cookies and cream when you look, like legitly looks like milk. Legit. That's what I was expecting from it. So it gave me literally what I was looking for. And I like that. I have to admit with the liner, deeper liner and this in the center would be hidden. It'd be nice. I think I would be in tattoo. So this one's different. It's a very wild card. I don't have any lip glosses like this y'all, but I mean, hey, now I do. Cookie Dreams. This is that black one with that blue sparkle. Now I'll say right now with this one, I wish they would have made it a deep, deep black and brown instead of straight up black. I use it on a corner of my lips and it does look really cool with the milky gloss in the middle, but I just feel like most people, they see this color, they're gonna run away. And I don't blame them for run away because if this was like a deeper, deep, deep, deep chocolate brown with those blue specks in it, it'd be more wearable, it really would. I feel like the black was like, okay, y'all really went out there with it. And it's kind of like a washed out black. It just smears around. I don't like that kind of black with glosses. Like if you're gonna make it black, make it black. You know what I mean? There's girls that wear black lipsticks and glosses. Just make it black, straight up. And I know it's a gloss, but it could have been pigmented with it. But the blue sparkle side of it is very, very pretty actually. And I feel like if this was topped over a brown lip, that would be pretty. So this one is definitely the wild card. I thought the milky one was, but this one actually really is. I thought it was a dark chocolate brown, but it's straight up black y'all. So. Just give y'all a heads up on that. All right, y'all. So last but not least is gonna, of course, be the Cookies and Dream Milkshake Overnight Mask. So you guys seen earlier, I did put this on. This mask is a nice and smooth and creamy. Smells like cookies and cream. And then when I woke up, my skin was nice and smooth and creamy and glowy. I actually like this. I feel like it's not too much oil, not too much anything in this. It's kind of like a... Um, the little beads break down around your skin. I liked it. I fet like it just wasn't too thick. It wasn't too heavy. I feel like they give you a lot for how much that it does go on your face. Like I said earlier, it's nice and smooth. So on the hand, see, look at that. It's just, oh, just stretches, stretches. And I actually did use this on my hand in between the cracks of my fingers. And I like went to work, you know, I just had my gloves on and whatnot. And then as you guys can see, I don't have no more dead skin in between. So it does its job. It's really, really nice. I like that it has that extra little glow oil at the end there. This is really good, especially where I need my eyes. It's really, really good. I do pop it a little bit closer. I know we need to be careful with that, but I know in my eyes, I need as much moisture on the bottom of my lids as possible. But this was a very nice mask. Like, look at that glow. It's very nice. And then, and then your face smells like cookies and cream. So this was really, really good, y'all. I wish they would come out with a whole bunch of different like milkshakes overnight masks with different scents like this and it doesn't have to be a collection just keep making these different milkshake overnight masks these are nice really really nice i have oily skin and this did not overpopulate or create more oil or maybe just greasy or create bumps for me it was nice it was like a light to medium it wasn't nothing too heavy and nothing too light either all right y'all so overall with this whole collection i thought it was really cute the skincare aspect like the scrub and the mask was really the best in my opinion and then the palette was just okay. I feel like they didn't have to do this palette really. Or I feel like maybe they could have just done more. I don't know. I feel like the palette was just okay. It didn't, it didn't really wow me too much. The lip scrub was a really, really nice touch. It did break down all the dead skin on my lip. And the milkshake one was very, very nice. I feel like if you have drier skin with that mask, you maybe want to put a second layer because it was lighter to medium. So if you want that extra, extra hydration, I would double layer it up if you want. And the glosses were really cute. The Brain Freeze one actually was, to me, one of the best ones. And then of course, the Milky one was really cute. Yeah, I would recommend at least try the Milky one and the Brain Freeze clear one, and then the scrub and then face mask. If they keep coming out with like ice cream flavors, uh, that would be cute. I would hope Elf would do that. Please do that, that'd be great. Okay, hint, hint. That is just my opinion on the Elf Cookies and Dreams. I keep saying cookies and creams, but Cookies and Dreams collection. So guys, thank you for watching me, which is Nelly doing things and as well don't forget to like subscribe to my channel which is nelly doing things and as well guys don't forget to leave a comment below you guys already know what i want to know right it's talking about ice cream right what's your favorite flavor ice cream let me know in the comments below and on top of that guys don't forget to hit that notification button before you go you guys already know what i'm about to say i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one bye y'all